So yesterday was the court appearance for the five accused in the Senzo Meiwa murder that appeared at the Boxburg Magistrate Court. And like I said, the five accused were charged with the 2014 murder of Bafana Bafana and Orlando Pirates captain Senzo Meiwa. Now in a very confusing as well as surprising turn of events, the suspects refused to stand in the dock saying that they were innocent and would not answer for a crime that they did not commit. <laughs> And just thinking back of the statement given by the police minister, Peggy Kele, that they have a watertight case, all of this just seems very puzzling. And on top of that, there is a leaked document on social media that is pointing to that Kelly Kumalo had contact with one of the accused. Now, before we get into all of that, please do me the favor, if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button, hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. With that said, hello and welcome to Red Live. So an internal document released by the National Prosecuting Authority, the NPA, to reporters who were in court on Tuesday revealed details in relation to the five suspects arrest for the murder of soccer player Senzo Meiwa. Now Meiwa was murdered in 2014 while visiting the home of his girlfriend singer Kelly Kumalo in Fosloras. Now taking a look at that document as you can see over there a copy for your information together with a copy of the indictment. The following additional information affidavit statements in respect of the following aspects must be obtained. The IO must file a statement detailing the events and circumstances that led to the confession by accused one and two and how the pointings out by accused one fit in with the facts of the case cell phone communication between the various accused before during after the commission of the offense must be established with tower location it is noticeable that EMPD officials were used to transport the suspects from confession it must be explained why they were used and not the SAPS members attempts must be made to obtain the automatic vehicle location AVL to determine the vehicle movement report location of the silver polo on the day of the incident by making use of its tracking system it must also be established as to to when accused number five came into possession of the said vehicle. Cell phone records of Miss Kelly Kumalo indicating her communication with the accused must be obtained as previously indicated. And 162 ballistic reports have been duplicated. Outstanding DNA reports of some of the suspects must be obtained. It was previously mentioned that there was a lender who advanced money to Miss Kelly Kumalo ostensibly to pay Hitman and that this lender was pestering her for the repayment of this loan the statement of such lender must be obtained a photo parade must be held and the photo received from the cell phone of suspect 3 Toby C. Prince Mube must be included in those identity kit of the suspect who was on the scene and had dreadlocks and the outcome must be set out in affidavit so yeah the charge sheet does have two suspects and looking at those five accused I mean they are wearing masks and some have a one of them has a hoodie on so it's not really clear to see but yeah I mean just going off that I mean do they look like does any of these two look like any of the five suspects suspects and going back to Kelly Kumalo according to that particular leaked document it seems like she had contact with one of the murderer accused and also that document says that Kelly Kumalo was being pestered by a lender for a repayment of a loan for hiring the hitman as it were so if we are going to go off this particular report it seems like the outside or the the person the mastermind as it were of this whole thing of the whole hit is Kelly Kumalo so Meiwa's brother, I think it was last week, did say Uguchi, he did receive a call after Senzo was killed. And in that call, um, Ukeli Kumalo was alleged to know what is happening. Ukeli Kumalo even said Uguchi, Nyuti, Nguma Maga send. It was said that um, if you go back years back, it was said Uguchi Uluando, Umtuanaga Chiko Tuana also knew something, um, some drug relation issues, some drug bosses in, inside. So if we piece all these things that we get from the media together, it, it gives us a conclusion. Uguchi, Someone is being protected, and whoever is being protected is very powerful, is very senior. That person has, has economic power, that person has ties within the subs, that person has ties within the hawks, and that, that's why the person cannot be touched. Right. But yeah, do comment down below and let me know what you guys think about this leaked document that does indeed incriminate Kelly Kumal. 
And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Ray Live if you haven't and binge watch my previous videos.